Hello friends, my name is Jamie. Welcome to Border Bananas. A couple of years ago, we suffered some storm damage in our entryway and we took on water. We sealed up our house and fixed the problem. But this spring we realized that we had taken some damage. and We had a lot of dry rotting and our subfloor was crumbling and then we actually got a hole in our subfloor of our entryway and we needed to replace the door as well. So that is what I'm going to be working on today for this video and I'm working on it in collaboration with Nicole North Garden Home and Garden as a cleaning and decor hop. So at the end of this video, please check the link down in the description box for the next person in this hop. There's going to be lots of cleaning and decorating inspiration for you today. It was too busy to get the major construction video um, and too cramped of a space, but we did rip out the subfloor. We rip, ripped out the wall holding the subfloor up and the door, replaced it all, and laid down a 12 by 24 inch gray tile that we got at Lowe's, and I think it's beautiful. Because our trim was caulked through the wall, it did quite a bit of damage when we took the trim off. So my husband repaired it and got it ready for primer. So I got busy painting the interior doors. Uh, this color from Sherwin-Williams, it's called Peppercorn. It's gorgeous. I decided to just go ahead and paint them with sample, a sample of paint and live with them throughout the winter to see how if I like them. And then if I actually like them, I'll go back and paint them with the real deal. Because even though it is just paint, when you need to buy a lot of paint, it adds up. Paint can be expensive and I tend to buy the best I can. Um, because it does last so much longer. So I definitely wanted to just give this a try and live with it throughout the winter um, and see if I like it. So far, so good. I think it complements my flooring really, really well. It was a choice between peppercorn and urbane bronze. Urbane bronze is a little bronzier, has a little more brown tones in it, and I really did like it compared to our flooring and our wood tones um, upstairs, but the peppercorn went out. I'd like to take a minute to remind you to check the link in the description box for the next creator in this hop. Um, I don't think you're going to be disappointed. And this is when the husband comes in and completely blocks the shot. <laughs> Anybody else? Just me? Okay then. That's all the time we had for the construction portion of this video for this weekend. Now it's time to just make it presentable for the week until we can work on it again next weekend. So I'm vacuuming my floor, getting it all nice and clean, prepping it to mop. There's my boy Odin. He is such a good boy. He is a year and a half old and about 90 pounds. He's a Doberman Pinscher and I get asked about him all the time. He almost never leaves my side, but he won't stay there long when water's involved. He is very, very afraid of water. Now I didn't get a chance to paint, so I'm taking a magic eraser after this wall here where it gets a it gets pretty dinged up. 
from backpacks and coats and whatever else my kids hang on their the dog leash, <laughs> whatever else my kids hang on these hooks. Um, so Odin is <laughs> giving me kisses. The floor's all dry. The water's put away. Oh, Allie's home. I brought in this chair that I recently thrifted from Goodwill. It was four or five dollars. I can't remember. And it's so new that I haven't even had a chance to haul it yet for you guys. It still has the tag on it. But I'm going to give it a good wipe down with my All Purpose Cleaner. And then I am going to use some orange oil. Any citrus oil will work to remove the residue from the sticker. I found that these orange Goodwill stickers for furniture always leave residue on them. So that's a really easy trick. Comes off in just a matter of seconds with a little orange oil or lemon oil. I'm going to soften up the chair a little bit with this blanket that Odin chewed a few holes in when he was little. Um, he has this thing where he would put his toy under a blanket and then try to find the toy through the blanket. I don't know. He still does it once in a great while, but I'm be getting better at catching him when he's doing it because I didn't know he was doing it before. But So I'm disguising the holes very carefully <laughs> in the placement on this chair. I just made this pillow out of a men's flannel shirt. It was the easiest pillow. It literally took me 15 minutes that I have ever made. If I can find another shirt, I will record a tutorial for you because it is so easy and it is so gorgeous. I love it. Now to kind of disguise the fact that we don't have any baseboards and the walls need painting, I decided to bring in this little stool and add some pumpkins to it uh, to dress it up just a little bit and give it a little more fall vibes. And as a PSA, Walmart now has their fresh pumpkins in and that's what these are. I was really excited to find them in time for this video. And I'm really excited because I no longer have to worry about Odin chewing up our shoes anymore. And I love decorating with a good pair of leather booties. I'm bringing in this thrifted basket and moving Odin's bells over to the doorknob. Uh, he rings those bells when he wants to go outside. Oh, it's inspection time. And to the basket, I'm just adding this gray scarf that is actually from Walmart a few years back. I love grabbing scarves from Walmart when they're they're usually like five or seven dollars, um, and they're really nice. I've had this one for several years now. Then I decided that the hole underneath the stool needed to be filled, so I slid in a vintage basket, and I think it looks perfect. And here it is, all styled and finished for the fall season. Sort of, we still have work to do in here, so we'll be working in here again next weekend. But it looks good for the remainder of the week, right? <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video and, and got some fall decorating inspiration and some cleaning motivation and maybe even to tackle a little project or two around your home. I'd like to thank Nicole Northgard and Home and Garden for hosting this clean and decor hop. Uh, don't forget to check the link in the description box for the next creator in the hop and have a great day. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you like this video. I'll check you later. Bye.